Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! So what is going on guys, uh, that was Tracy just checking up and make sure we're alright. Right now we're heading down to the strip club, right where we uh, finished off actually. Um, I did save, just to make sure. Um, in the last episode of Watch Dogs, if you guys watched that, um, it actually did get corrupt there towards the end, I'm sorry about that. Um, that's something to do with my re um, recording software. Oh, my mind is now calling. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm going to take care of this. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it's got something to do with my recording software and my computer. Um, what happens is, is my computer will... Um, uh, what it'll do is the uh, the CPU will, for some strange reason, just flatline. Um, like, I always pull it up whenever I record an episode just to make sure the episode's recording fine. And uh, that's what's been happening a lot recently. That's why it, go that's why it goes corrupt. Um, well, that's why the video skips a lot. Because, for some strange reason, it's not taking everything in. But, uh, let's go in and uh, set up the heist, shall we? Let's just hope we don't see any boobies or anything where I have to blur out. Run still like that. Yep, run still that. Kind of uh, no, it's not run, is it? It's uh. Don't remember his name anymore. Um, but yeah, um, I'm hoping that I've just fixed the problem anyway. Um, with that, let's go in here and start hey. up the heist. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back, you two. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. <laughs> okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? You've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! 
Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Um, which one's the subtle approach? Is it the left one, What's which is the subtle? Tunnel ambush. Whole ball. Um, I think we're going to go for subtle. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, we're not going to go for the obvious one. Um, let's just go for the subtle. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's going to take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Care. Okay, his cut's law. Oh, his is. Um. I think I might just bring in him and him. They took on the FIB with us. They gotta be okay. Well, we'll select chef. The driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car. It is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. I'll go for him. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Why not? Let's take a chance on him. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. Hopefully. We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Um, I know my auto save is turned off. Uh, we can't run in here. So. I hope that this heist is gonna go off I without asked a hitch. I your number, but they took oh. my phone. <laughs> oh, here we go. Phone call. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color Landstalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? So, we're going to go help Jimmy, and um, I don't know what we're going to do after that. Um, anyway, this GTA doesn't have that long left in it now. Um, I don't know, maybe he's a little bit more into next week. And then, uh, I don't know if it'll go into the week after and then it'll just be uh, then I'll have to take find something to take the place of GTA again and I have a I have a good idea of a series I want to finish off um, I have an episode already recorded um, all I need to do is render it uh, put the audio together and everything render it and upload so I might look into that And I've got an itchy eye. <laughs> One second. 
There we go. I itched it. Alright. Um, Jimmy's 1.3 mile away, so. 1.35, to be exact. So we've got a few miles to drive. Um, oh. Hey, eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. So you but what you didn't count me. on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. It. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd? No matter when you're an old badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I Do am. A roll. Horrible little troll. I don't even have a clue how to. Oh. All right, let's shoot out a tire, shall we? Give me back, my boy. Stun gun. <laughs> Fucking hell! What is up with people crashing into me today? I've got a taser, so I'm gonna try and taser him. Oh shit. Freaking hell. I'm on the edge of a freaking cliff right now. There we go. Let's keep driving. So, after we've done this, I think I'm gonna start setting up the heist. Um, but I might have to come back to that in the next episode a little bit. Take you home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and, and I'm like his nemesis. And I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But... But I'm like his troll, Pop. I'll continue to troll him, then. <laughs> Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like, someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like... My balls is prettier than that baby. And then I sent him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, but there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. 
and I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly. Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it! Look out! I get it! Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fuck? Careful, come on! I've got a really itchy nose. I'm trying to itch it and drive. <laughs> That's why I'm crashing so much. Sorry, guys. Yeah, my nose is itchy as hell. It's itchy again. Wow. Okay. I want to have to itch it again once we get there. Uh, how long is it? Was it 15 minutes so far? Something like that. It'd be a bit shorter for you because I would have cut off the uh, beginning where there's not done really happening. So I start like uh, what I do is I actually start I'm recording them up, for the waypoint and such. Right? Like a sane person. All right, the troll can come out of his cage. Screw you! It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Okay, we're done, I think. There we go, mission passed. So, let's see what we're doing now, shall we? Should get a phone call any second. Or oh, something should happen any second. <laughs> um... Right, I need to enlarge that to see what that says. I can't even read that. Hold on, I'm going to have to look past my microphone. Give me a second. Okay, um, there's a picture on there. There's a few pictures on there, but I can't really see much. Oh, um. I can't even read that. Like, there's, it's like that much glare on the phone that I can't really read. Let's see if I can call them. Oh, there we go, we can drive to one now. What we'll do is we'll do one, and then in the next episode we'll come back and do the rest. Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I... So, we'll do this one, and then I'll call it uh, for an episode, and uh, we'll come back in the next one. And finish them off, because I don't want uh, this episode going on for too long. Where we're we going? This way. Oh, oh, we're going exactly the same way how we got there. Just in a different car. We're now in a piece of crap of a car, what doesn't really turn very well. But then yet again, I did crash my car into it a few times. Right. Oh, hello. Don't know how I didn't hit him. Right. Here we go. Sorry for all of that. I'm um, wasting that time there where I had to, uh, uh, where I had to read. I was just trying to read it. It's very, very hard to read at the distance I'm sat from. Someone at the front desk will be able to help you, sir. Really? Okay. It's front desk there, sir. That's a restricted area. Okay. Thank sir, you. Sir, they'll be able to help you inside. Okay, thank you. I swear to God, two years and Merriweather are going to have our jobs. 
Yeah, I think Mary, Mary, Merryweather will have your job. Okay, I know a back way in. So if we run around, and we can climb over this wall back here. This wall right here. Right here. And we're in. There we go, we got the van. <laughs> Just like that, guys. Just like that. That's how you get them easily. Okay. There we go. Park it under here. There we go, guys. One heist mission down already. So, um, I'm going to nick this car and drive to the safe house. I'm also going to phone somebody. Who are we phoning? Lester? Lester? Yep. I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take this score. So, um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go save, figure out what I need to do to get these gauntlets and stuff. And uh, after that, we will um, start the heist. And I will record getting the gauntlets, obviously. I just need to go through the email and everything. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If anything else happens and uh, they're on this episode, like a phone call or whatever, I will let you guys know straight away. So until then, guys, I'm out. Peace.